Stephen was the little guy that loved keeping up after his brothers. It's hard to find pictures of him where he wasn't smiling. When he was three and a half, that's when life really changed. We got the diagnosis of isovaleric acidemia. We were settling into our new way of life, finding our new normalcy, learning how to care for Stephen. And six months later, we found out we were pregnant. We got the call that this baby girl also had IVA. And right away, we were fearful. The first call I made was to Stephen's doctor at Children's. For a lot of our families, they feel very isolated and they feel very alone because no one's heard of their disease. The team at Children's said, don't worry, we're going to prepare for her. And they had a whole plan in place. Newborn screening is something that is critically important to our program here. We screen you. We figure out you have something before you get sick. And that's why we see patients coming out like Caroline. She is doing incredibly well thanks to early diagnosis and treatment. She's been able to do everything that we always hoped she could. When you see Caroline and you see Stephen, you do see a contrast. And most of my career is spent trying to bridge that gulf. Stephen is a reminder of what happens if you wait. He's a reminder of how fast patients with these conditions can go downhill. You need something like a rare disease institute to identify and treat patients like Stephen. Opening this new facility, the Children's National Research and Innovation Campus, it's a dream come true. Having the clinics with the basic scientists, with the innovation center, with the clinical laboratories, having all those folks in one area creates those spark moments. And that's what I think this campus will create that's going to be very special for children. By having the attention and the focus now on these rare diseases, we can prevent other cases and situations like Stevens. I want a patient with a rare disease to think, this is where I go to get the best. This is where I go to make sense of this. You need that team to, to support you. It helped us, it strengthened us to feel empowered that we could take care of Steven. When I see Caroline out riding horseback, she's out there, she's doing these things. Even though she's got a condition that almost no one else will have ever heard of, that's a very serious condition, it's not slowing her down at all. She'll be able to grow up, get married, have children, and that comes from the dedication and the commitment from this team here. For me, success is when the patient says, why do I have to come see you? I'm fine. Don't get in my way. I've got a life to live. People are living longer, and they're, they're living with quality lives with these rare conditions. They're not just living, they're thriving. And that's his legacy that I know that he will have always made a difference.